Welcome back to Don't Dodge. I am for Sean, your Seattle staple here. I got Mr. Entertainment next to me. Massive potato, oh, enormous yeah, potato over here. And we're getting down to top six of our Don't Dodge tournament today. Um, we know we, we are running a little out of time, so we have to cut maybe like one match short. But we definitely got some Smash Ultimate action coming out. Yeah, let's take a look at the bracket potato. I, like, how you been feeling so far in this tournament? Yeah, I'm so excited. This has been an awesome tournament so far. And the venue here, Retro Collection, has been fantastic. Great accommodating, right? Yeah, I know Absolutely. you've been here before. You had a great experience. This is my first time here and absolutely loving it. So much space to work with. Yeah. Which is, you know, not a Seattle tournament staple, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I definitely believe that. <laughs> also, I love the pizzazz. You can see all the cards behind us, too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's great. Super dope. Um, gives a lot of flair to us. But um, we are getting down top six here. And let's just kind of take a look at the bracket here. Um, I know that right now we have one more match waiting, which is Vi and Shinko. Shinko, the old man, is here. If you don't believe it, he came all the way up here just to see us. And he's firing up against Vi. The uh, Ken has been popping off really today. Yeah. Um, that's been really exciting. Ken's kind of the dark horse now, I feel, in this game. In terms of, like, not, yeah, yeah, not sure. much rep, but explosive nonetheless. But we have, uh, I think, JVD versus... Uh, can you help me out with this one? Uh, the JVD... JDV Embo. Embo, excuse me. Yeah. Embo, excuse me. Um, yeah, Embo playing Duck Hunt um, primarily, right? Does, has any other oh, characters to pop Oh, and they're right into off? it. Yeah, here we go. With the Mums Cookie Shag shout-out. Uh, uh, I guess we're uh, jumping right into this game. Well, we still got top 16 on the overlay, but we'll get that fixed. Yeah, hope the audio is okay for you guys. I can't really hear any, hear any game audio, but uh, hopefully it sounds okay on your end. That's all that matters. Yeah, just let us know in the chat if there's issues. Production will get it fixed. Shout out to production, as yeah, always. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, it's a tough thing, especially when you're working with a new venue, and uh, Chad and the TRC community have been doing great work here. But, like I said, we're off to the next match, and we're having the Zona battle, right? We're having uh, this, this wacky character that is like Duck Hunt versus... Uh, JVD, which is a monster of a player and a monster of a Pac-Man. Yeah, I feel like it's so easy to look at sets like this and be like, oh, Pac-Man is just going to run away and charge fruit, and Embo is just going to try to zone break him and then throw cans at him. But there's so much more in the match that is just like those precise little interactions that make or break those zone break opportunities that Embo is going to have, how he places that can how Pac-Man is able to get his Hydrant down if he's able to, or if Embo can find ways past that before he even has the opportunity. JDV is one of those players who, his main game plan is, can I get my fruit charged? Like, a lot of times, if you see him on, say, Smashville, counterpick stages that people pick against him a lot of times because it's a small stage where he can't run away, he will voluntarily run off the stage and charge his fruit. And that's something that I think a lot of people are not ready for. Yeah, it's definitely his win con. We've already seen it earlier. We had the bell kind of confirm into the a classic smash attack, and that really just it's kind of the it looks simple, but it's very effective. All right, and now we're seeing mom's uh, mom's cookies throw me off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Embo, you know, just doing a good job of sharking, able to get some confirms here and there. Um, we're gonna get rid of that can just because that's to be like kind of the primary factor you have to deal with. Duck Hunt, it like glues his whole game plan together, and without that, he's He's not as, as effective, I feel, so you have to really use the Fear of Cannon. There we go. I'd just like to point out we already got an Earl's Melon coming out in this set. I know you be lo loving the Earl's <laughs> I Melon. I love potato. my Earl's Melon. It's the best fruit in the game. All right. Well, can action. Going very high. Just to avoid any shenanigans here, I like the idea. Oh, the dash attack. That's so hard to punish it's, from it's JVD. It's practically unpunishable. Like, it is ridiculous, I gotta say. <laughs> and it was right at that spacing where you don't know if it's gonna cross up or not, so Embo just does not even touch that. Yeah, who, who thought giving a zone or boxing tools is a great idea, but... Yeah, have you seen this man's frame data? It is not okay. Yeah, uh, JDV just using all his tools to great efficiency here. All right. Ooh, nice up B out of there. I like the way he got out of that scary situation, because he's against the ledge, so he can't just cross up. Here we can see Key Charge. He's going for the kill here. Oh, I love the way the Embo waited for the Hydra and then continued charging, right? Nice oh. back throw. Chucked out of here. There we go. That's JDV for you. He always he gets you so scared with his fruits. Finally throws away that key, but now he doesn't really need it. But honestly, a lot of times he's not trying to hit you with the fruit. He's trying to make you play a certain way around that. The fear, fruit. right? Yeah, absolutely. The fear. And he just gets the back throw and closes it out. Another thing, why did they give a zoner a kill throw? Oh, and the jab lock is going to be some massive damage attack on and gives him a chance to charge once again. I believe we do have the Glaxian. Oh, excuse me. Who oh, am I talking about? <laughs> we got the bell, the classic, and you're out of here. JDV going up. Didn't even need Galaxian that stuff because you got your typical bread and butter. If you're JDV here, you want to get Galaxian early, then you go to the bell, and then after that, you go to the key. And those are like your, your one, two, three combo. But right. 
yeah. completely breaks the mold there, doesn't use it at all on that stock. I think when those like l last hit scenarios too, you can't give JDV what he wants, right? You can't just jump like from the ledge at the same timing. Otherwise, you're yeah. just gonna get hit by the bell like you did before. So hopefully, as the set goes on, Embo like in those ten situations, just kind of hesitates, maybe just slight, but not just enough to give you know real estate away. Saw a bit of a, a player three coming in there. People remember to unplug your pro controllers do. and. Do you remember Port Priority last year? Oh, God. Top Don't eight. remind me. <laughs> there was that Rogue Pro controller that was getting low battery warnings in the corner. We are going to FD here. No platforms about it. And I think, honestly, hopefully this will give a little bit more leeway for Embo to kind of maneuver around the shenanigans that, you know, JDV wants to kind of throw out. It will certainly make Galaxian less of a threat. Sure. Absolutely. The extensions will be kind of cut off. Great Ooh, timing from JDV, but of extensions. Oh my god! That wind condition from Embo is just so potent. You know that's uh, you know JDV talked about the interaction with Hydra and against charging fruit, right? It, it clanks against the whole entire charge, and it sometimes can be a little inconsistent. But JDV knows how to like fight against <laughs> yeah, that. It's so frustrating playing against JDV because he knows exactly how his own like janky shenanigans work. Right. So it doesn't work against him. Yeah, it feels like in this matchup, too, that Pac-Man has a better time walling out and, like, getting his one con more than I think Embo does. Embo's have to work a little bit harder, right? Yeah, because, like, Embo trying to contest that fire hydrant with, say, the gunman, it's so slow that JDV can get half a fruit charge off and then just run away and get another half off, and he's set just while that gunman's coming out, and there's not much you can do, which really forces Embo to use this can to good effect, which we see here with the pressure... Manages to get the grab and force him off stage, and that can just comes right back. Okay, the can is set up. Okay, I like this time that we waited because we threatened the grab earlier, and that's how we were able to seal the up air this time. Embo doing a good job of conditioning, too. He said, I'm not the only one that can do it, brother. Raw back and here. Right back. Ain't nothing complicated about that. Keep it simple. Interesting to see the key from JDV right now. Normally, this is not the play at 0%. I don't know if that was just because he was already charging it, expecting to have to edge guard. Because Embo did barely die off that last hit. I think it's also just to kind of blow through a lot of the projectiles that you can, you can do. So in that situation, you get a better trade, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, though that said, Embo is staying pretty in control. He's It's sort of like that Steve game plan where it's, do you just let him get diamond or not? Embo's playing the let him get diamond, or in this case, fruit game plan, I yeah. feel like, a little bit. Usually, zoners are kind of bad at mid-range, right? You walk up to him to the mid-range, and they have to have to make a choice, right? Yeah. And so, in that situation, JDV, although I will say that um, his, like, frame data isn't, like, as bad as, like, Steve is in the air. Mm -hmm. So, he has a little bit of, like, ways to kind of maneuver and, like, thread the needle. All right, we're just going to... You know, you use the classic, you know, show that ledge. But it's a little more potent when you have the uh, the, the can at the ready here. Oh, Speaking of which, scary. you better watch out. Beautiful play from Embo. That bell's still online, though. He just needs to barely get this off. It's fear. In with There's just that fear. Guesses. No, you got a little too antsy, and that's what you can't give JDV. JDV. He will take that all day. JDV will run up to a shielding component with that bell and just dash dance on you until you make a mistake. That's really one of the big win conditions that I say J JDV abuses against ANSI players. Because he'll do that over and over and over, stock after stock, and it just works. So for such a young player, he's very good at just getting inside the mind of, of another oh, your yeah. competition, right? That's that's very uh, unlikely to see at such a young age, but JDV making it work here. Hold on to the stock, and Embo close it out just in time to hopefully amount this comeback. And this right here is why I call JDV the wall. He just is not dying. He's playing continuously, so patient, just nickel and diming Embo. Nothing crazy happening, but he's just not getting killed. He's getting around that can. Yeah, there's, there's always a few ways that right now that Embo can really kill. You know, getting the can eventually high percent or getting like a raw aerial. But I feel like JDV is so wise to that now that it's becoming even harder to like, as time goes on and get the kill. We only have three minutes left here. Uh, someone's got to give. Yeah, that's another factor. Embo can't just stall him out forever. We were talking about that game plan. Oh, great Brother. timing from JDV. You can't even stall on the ledge either because you can just down throw the bell and it just covers so many options. JDV is just a master at his character. I have seen JDV throw out that bell into a smash attack, I don't know, 20, 30 times. Of those times, I have seen him mistime it once. Yeah, he's, he's so, so consistent. very accurate. And we mentioned earlier, like, not uh, not jumping too soon off ledge, but a high percent, you know, you lose invincibility. So in that case, you got to you gotta make a move, right? Yeah. 
And it's, uh, no matter what, the bell seems to just find its mark, like you said. JDV is just a sniper with it. We're going running it back right to FD. I feel like this is a good decision. Embo looks pretty comfortable here, those sure. first couple stocks. But I agree. You know, a lot of zoner games, it's just about getting the first stock and then forcing the other person to approach. Because right now we're seeing neither of them wants to approach because neither of them needs to. JDV runs in, gets hit. This is not the situation he wants to be in. But as soon as he gets that stock lead, it goes completely the other way. Yeah, the percent lead is definitely something that, you know, I definitely have confidence in Embo, like you said. Um, but it really comes down to how can you close out stocks. The so dash attack again doesn't get punished. I feel like Embo is not doing a good job of recognizing what distances at which that dash attack crosses up. Like, he's not confident. It's difficult. It's difficult. You can probably parry it and maybe mitigate some of that stuff. Just kind of jump away. If you can't punish it, just take some space, right? Yeah, for sure. It's better to just get center stage there because Zoner's caught in the corner. I know Pac-Man can stay at ledge pretty well, but... But you just can't stay in the air as Embo is still on another stock with just the raw up air. The beak from the duck is potent. That up air is terrifying. You're always like, oh, that's not going to kill. It's a weak little duck. And then it's kind of like the villager up till. Have you ever seen that thing kill it like 100%? He's like, why is this kill, right? Speaking of things killing early, not quite there from JDV, but without good DI, that was curtains. Okay, this time we we're grabbing the bell. Okay, Embo's getting a little comfortable dealing with the bell, I feel, as time goes on, too. Did you see that interaction? JDV got the grab, and it canceled the bell stun on Embo. All right, so we're, we're, we're coming along here. I feel like Embo's getting definitely warmed up. I feel I'm definitely more comfortable, especially with stock lead like this. How long can you hold on to it, though? I think it's be very important. Yeah, it's we've seen time and time again in this set JDB struggling to approach against Embo the same way Embo was struggling to approach against oh, him. Oh, the Earl's Melon the Ping Pong Earl's Combo. Melon, let's go! <laughs> You'll love to see the F tilt ping pong you're right into the Earl's Melon, and this is uh you know if you don't be careful. I think JDV could just mount this right back because Pac-Man has no shortage of damage. See, that right there is proof that Earl's Melon is the best move in the game and it needs to be used more. No other <laughs> no other move could have killed there. Well, it had to be Earl's Melon. I guess, I guess living proof, right? <laughs> All right, so right now, holding on to the stock at 161. Embo doing a fantastic oh, job. Having it take it's just chasing him in the air. He barely got past that can. And another can playing around the it's world gotta be right stale. now. It's got to be stale as a heck now. Oh my god, oh. Phil! 189 JDV will not go quietly. My man playing the can-can dance at the moment here, barely staying alive. 192. Duck Hunt just without those cans going the right direction. It's so difficult for him to kill. All right, finally, at back here does sneak out the roll, and once we're seeing the whole entire set, Embo is up the stock. A nice nair from JDV. He kind of had to get aggressive in that situation. Time is running out for him to get these stocks off, but... Crazy how much time vampired out of this whole set, you know? <laughs> okay, the bell going to the corner and oh, he gets it again. What? And he gets stage spikes. What? Oh my him. god, I can't believe that happened. But JDV will take it all day. And we are just, like, tied up once again. Uh oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see a lead just go like this, too. <laughs> JDV's timing was perfect there. Just He was so far under the stage. And Embo was expecting to pop up like you usually do. So he was not ready to tech that. Yeah, you, you don't want to give JDV this high early damage, too, because that's just going to spell, I think, curtains for this match. So take it slow now. We're on the last stock. Embo is going to be collected to keep playing some more games here. We're seeing Embo starting to throw out that clay pigeon a lot more, trying to get those mid-percent combos, or as I like to call it, worse Galaxian. <laughs> yeah, you know what? In a <laughs> See, way, there you go. He's making it work and comboed right into the up here. A beautiful display of, honestly, uh, execution there. Now the can's coming back again. It's unstaled, so it's going to be a big threat to JDV. He's not going to live those at 150 anymore. Bo doing such a Pressure. good job keeping this competitive. I think he was expecting a dash or a roll in there, but JDV didn't give it to him. He's so patient. This might be the last edge scenario. Oh, and oh, the, the can coming at him. Did go deep. <laughs> hey, yeah, Pac-Man's making that back every day of the week. I appreciate JDV not overextending in that situation. Yeah, absolutely, too, because you can just give the opponent what you want. Now, Embo on the other side of it. The Earl's Melon pressure, the absolute fear from Embo, recognizing the best move in the game, and now he's stuck at the ledge, and is that going to do it? No, it no, is it's not. not. We almost... It's just we're going DBZ right now. My man's got some fighters installed on their PS4 at the moment. Look at the can coming out again, the pressure. Both of them just sitting so much in shield right now, terrified of each other, and recognizing that grabs are not the main threat. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be about basically just raw kill potential here. And there it is, using just the active frames to cover so many options there. And the F tilt will take it. JDV. Oh, oh wait. Oh, we got more games to play. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, these don't, guys think they're done. We keep going. Don't wrap it. I know we're out of here. We're going to get here very soon. But, yo, play some more games. Enjoy some Smash. It's not over yet. Don't, don't ice each other yet. Yeah, JD don't, don't look this don't look this way. When has JDV ever iced anybody with 15 minutes of randubs? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're getting back. Oh, maybe we you get, know what might have we... happened? We are running kind of short on venue time oh, tonight. Are we, are we uh because we started things? Are we actually late. is that is it only best of three? What? Are we time vampire again? Are we like didn't oh, we're commentators, aren't we? <laughs> we yeah, this is not our job. This, right? I'm reading the no I thought that I thought uh, Embo we won to, game two. We went to FD twice. Embo got one oh, of them. Oh no, those. Embo did one lose the first game because remember JDV walled him out. Is it just best of three? No, it's best of five. We just forgot. Oh my won. best of five, excuse me. I thought we were like changing it up because we had to no, get no. out of here. Well, I swear no, we, we we do this, guys. Don't worry about it. But there we we're go. just going to blame production for that one. They hey, put a JDV the taking it over Embo, so we're going to be moving on. <laughs> Our heads are just so empty. We see the 1-1 the one, one on the screen. The like, gears yeah, are turning, right? That like, makes sense, of course. Yeah. I'm too busy thinking about Earl's melons over here. <laughs> what All a right. great set, though. JDV showing his ability to play both sides of that, because we were talking about how it's difficult for the zoner who is down to approach. And in that third game, JDV was in that situation. He had to approach, had to make things work, and he brought it back. Yeah, we saw that, I think, um, even last time we commented at Legacy Smash. JDV is so good at turning the script and being aggressive when need to. Fight fire with fire, right? Right. And it's going to be very important, especially when we saw Embo um, have a leg up like for a little while in the set, too. Mm -hmm. JDV is just so good at adapting um, different type of play styles to make it work, especially with Pac-Man, too, which is... I feel like not the easiest, but he makes it work regardless. But yeah. we're moving on, I think, onto the bracket here. We got to keep this locomotive going. Uh, top six here is going on. Oh, Vi did take it over Shinko. So Vi the Ken didn't move on. We also get H4 in Luchas as well. Um, ooh, did Vi have a DQ? Oh, that's, so sad. That's too bad. My man was was taking names today. He, he actually cooking. won and done Shinko. He he beat Shinko and then he took like, off. Yeah, I'm out of here. That's well, all. I'm no, I'm <laughs> no, but yeah, I actually saw on Twitter earlier. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna beat Shinko," and then I'm just I'm bouncing. <laughs> he beat the old man and then he was like, hey, "I'm dipping, son." All right, but good stuff. The Vi though, he really had a great showing yeah. today. It was sad that we can't see more of the games. Um, but we do have H4. I think the losers. Embo basically just gets to go on the loser semifinals, yeah. just like that. So. Because um, yeah, this is not over for Embo. He could bring it all the way back. He can. He can. The way he's playing, I believe it, right? Uh, we got JDV versus Pokepen, I think, happening, um, I think, next, right? With yeah. Winner, winner's be. finals. Winner's finals next. If not, Embo versus um, whoever the winner of H4 and uh, JoJo is fighting Seesaw. So that match okay. is still going for 15 minutes. It might go even longer because I mean, you know how JoJo yeah, can play, JoJo's right? So, like... It's a JoJo moment. Oh, man. Already having a fun time here. At your top six of Don't Dodge. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, also, don't forget about Port Priority coming up very soon here. Yeah, you guys in got November. Register. Lucky number seven. Um, it's at a casino. Everybody's gonna be wearing the suit. Right? You know, I'm wearing my suit for commentary. Ooh, a, ooh. I'm gonna look fancy. Goose said oh, he man. might wear a tux. Even we'll see. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I see that it's all James Bond theme. So yeah, it is yeah. James Bond theme. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking very forward to Port Seven. Um, I've been a part of every single port priority, and I'm lucky to commentate every single one. We got my man, Massive Potato. I'm the first big major one as well. Yeah, so real. Catch my man on the mic as well. We'll be commentating when I think the likes of like EE, TK, Charles. There's so, so much great talent coming out. Make sure to tune in for that.